He has eight, 31-27. Steppy falls, trying to check Moncrief. They'll dish to Makeski, missed the long gun. Lister fighting with Major Jones, but Major wins the war. He's got the rebound up to Vinny against Pressy down the lane. High glasser, yes! Tell you what, the Bucks almost need a timeout here because the Pistons are starting to come back and play much better. They're getting good production from the substitutes. 30% for the Pistons, 42% for the Bucks. Maybe that's why Don Nelson put Terry Cummings back in, but he misses again, this time from the top, and the Pistons can take the lead. It's 31-31, 9.20 to play in the half. Vinny at the foul line, sends it and scores it. In this quarter, though, the Pistons are shooting the lights out. It's 6 for 6. Milwaukee leads, 6 and a quarter to play in the half. Brooke Steffi has it. Gives it up to Curitan. Down the left side, wanted to hand it to Campbell in the paint. Took it back instead. Gets it off to Steppy on the way. A fake on Grevy, doesn't lose him, leans in. Now dishes deep to VJ. Vinny throws it up and in. But we're going to get a three-second call on the Pistons. Tony Campbell in the paint too long. Really playing out of control right now. Grevy is him, and Grevy gets it down from the wing. Boy, you couldn't have said it better. 43-35. The last two. Well, the ex team made a day big in Washington. Kevin Grevy. Benny penetrates. Puts oh. it go ahead. Got that leaner to Benny fall off the window. Good. Great, great shot. Very tough one as usual. Pistons need a hoop right here. Down 48 41. Benny Johnson on Grevy. Foul line for the pop. It's perfect. And he is fouled. Not just a hoop, but Benny going for three. Give me a little of that contact, because I'm going to fill it up anyway, and I get a chance for a free throw. Then he just looked him right in the eye, says, you can't guard me. I'm going right up in your face. He did it. And insult to injury. Grevy fouled him. In fact, I'd rather you bump me. <laughs> this is down six. They need to just make sure they stay within eight points or so in this half, because they really haven't played well, but they're still in the game. That's, 15, that says 44. a lot about them. Yeah, it does. 50-44 makes it only six. And they're shorthanded and not playing well and playing basketball's hottest team. John Long to Vinny, right of the lane. Three on the clock, and he fills it up. bj has got 11. And it's 50-46, a minute and a half to play in the half. you got to think they're going to go to Cummings down low. They're probably going to try and swing it some kind of way to him. Shot clock is at six. Cummings gets it on the wing. Jumper over Curitan. It's a brick. Off the iron to Earl. Nine seconds of play in the half. Up That's comes a the Vinny bumped all the way up the floor by Ricky Pierce. And finally, Blaine Reichel blows the whistle. Foul on 22, Ricky Pierce. Tell you what, he, he, he puts these two in. They're down four with six seconds to go in the half. They're right back in it. A good foul, but more importantly, he's trying to put some quickness in the game so that they can put some pressure. Now there's the matter of Vinnie Johnson's two free throws. The first one's down. Got it really through the hoop before it started to rattle. 54-49. Second is perfect. 54-50. Vinny has 13 points. No, no. Steffi fouls Hodges in backcourt. Just what Chuck Healy didn't want him to do, but the Pistons had one to waste. 